Good morning guys, well it's been a few days since, it's now Wednesday the 22nd of December, um, I thought I'd give you some all an update in regards to the complete muppetry that was going on at um, the Massey Community Hub, of course after, I mean I wasn't even aware that that psychotic bitch driving the car tried to swerve in and hit me until after I was actually going through the footage the following day um, and my car cam showed me just exactly how close she got. Um, wipes after blood after seeing that. She's just dealt to that bitch. Um, so what I did on Monday is I uh, did a few calling around. I even took notes. Um, did some calling around. Now first off I rang the Ministry of Health to complain about the nurse and her driving and just the general behaviour of the staff there. This isn't the red badge muppets that like to come out on sidewalks and exercise what little to no authority they have but um, yeah this was uh, in regards to the nursing staff now you know I wanted to find out who was in charge of these drive-through testing stations so I called the Ministry of Health all right here's their call thank you for calling the inform integrity line please hold while your call is transferred to our team Calling Angela, how can I help? Hi Angela, how are you today? I'm good, thank you, how are you? Oh, a box of fluffy ducks as always. Um, so I'm, I'm calling in regards to one of the Ministry of Health staff members. Um, I was at the Massey Community Hub at 385 Dombuck Road on Saturday um, at the drive through testing there. And um, I was just um, exercising my right. I never went onto the property, which is public anyway, but I was off, stayed on the footpath the whole time. Um, and I was, uh, basically, I'm a blogger, social media, um, gathering some content for a story I was doing. Um, I was approached five separate times by security staff, nurses, um, telling me it was illegal for me to record on the sidewalk. Um, the security has no jurisdiction on the public sidewalk for a start to come and tell someone what to do. Um, but it, it, after an hour and a half and threats of police being called and the whole lot, um, the driver of one of your Ministry of Health vehicles registration plate KLK151, who was a short um, married nurse with a large room sun, black sun hat on and blue scrubs, um, got in that car, um, drove off the site, went round the roundabout and then came screaming up and I was sitting on the right on the edge of the sidewalk doing some filming by a bus stop and she came screaming in and within inches from behind almost struck me with the car and that's attempted vehicular assault. She also blasted her horn. It was purely in retaliation for the fact that I was just exercising my rights on the footpath. I don't know her identity. I do have many photos of her, um, but what can be done? I'm absolutely appalled of the behaviour of all of the staff, but I'm going to be reporting her driving to the police, but is it appropriate mm -hmm. for Ministry of Health staff to be using vehicles in that manner? Okay, now that unfortunately I cannot answer as I am just the integrity line from Minister of Health. Uh, you'd be best to... It the integrity, does it not? Yes, yeah, so you would be best to speak with the Minister of Health directly. Um, in my opinion, unfortunately, no, that would not be the use of a vehicle, and it is dangerous, um, but 
That being said, the silly thing, yeah, yeah, the silly, but, the silly thing was I had mm. three cameras rolling, including one in my car, that recorded exactly how close she got to hitting me. I mean, you don't come screaming up to behind someone standing on the sidewalk, blast your horn. If I had, if I had got no, jumped onto the road, I would have been hit by it. Completely. Mm -hmm. No, that's definitely correct. So, um, mm, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm happy to, if you would like to speak with directly, I can try to see if there's a minister of health. See if they do have anyone available in the management team um, to obviously discuss the issue. Um, so if you don't mind holding, I can pop you through. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. You have a good day, eh? I'll try and you long. You too. Hello, it's Nick with Gloria. Hi, is that, sorry, Gloria, was it? Hi. Sorry, I can very hardly hear hey. you. Is, is that better? Yep, that's better. How are you cool. today? Hi. Good day. Um, now, was what I was calling for explained to you, or have I just been put through to you? Just been put through to me. Okay. Um, my name's Mark. Um, I'm, uh, um, I guess you could say independent journalist, blogger, social media. Um, and I was uh, outside um, the Massey Drive-Through Community Testing Centre on Saturday from about 4 o'clock through to 5.30. Um, uh -huh. I was, uh, during the whole time, stayed on the sidewalk um, and was gathering some content for the story that I was uh, working on. Um, I was approached by security, nurses, staff members, um, and the first two tried to tell me that it was illegal for me to record them on a public sidewalk, which is completely incorrect. Um, the, third uh, nurse, which, uh, the, the third nurse was uh, dressed in blue scrubs with a black um, sort of... Oh, I'm just going to stop you there, Mark. Um, this isn't like a media light. Uh, I'll, I'll just see if I can I, I, find I, I, someone I from I the I media just, team to be able to speak in. with you. Uh, can I stop you for a second? Whilst we do something. have a email hello? address. One uh, moment. Hello? Are you there? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's not about a media inquiry. It's about one of your nurses driving a Ministry of Health vehicle, registration KLK151, attempting to hit me driving on the main road. Oh my gosh. K L K one five one. It was the nurse that came out and filmed me. I have everything on multiple Can you ring the police? That's my next call. I I've come home, I've looked at all of the footage that I had over yesterday. Um and mm -hmm. literally I was standing next to a bus stop on the sidewalk across the road from them at that point because I've moved away. She had picked up, left, got in her car, went round the roundabout and from behind came screaming up, literally within inches of where I was standing and tooted her horn from behind. If I'd got startled and stepped out onto the road, I would have been instantly hit. And, I, and my vehicle, which also had a camera running, caught the angle completely. This is no argument, it was done in retaliation. And this was after the woman came out and recorded me on the sidewalk instead of doing her job. Now that's pure retaliation, it's unacceptable. Wow. I was, to, I was told by wow. the, the manager that came out after an hour and a half, after being approached by five of the different staff members, the manager that came out, um, I thanked him for please telling them to go away. His response was, I can smell the shit coming out of your mouth. Oh, wow. That is not acceptable behaviour. It's up on YouTube already. If there is an email address I can send the footage to, I would like that. And my next call will be to the police for her. That's attempted vehicular assault. So, okay. um, I'm impressed. It's, not about uh, what? it's clearly not about media. It's about safety and these people overstepping their boundaries. Oh, I think it's both, actually. Mm hmm And it's... Uh, I mean, literally, I've seen stuff that TVNZ, that they have recorded multiple times those testing stations from a sidewalk, put it up on mainstream. I was doing nothing different. And they all approached me. Not once did I yell out or approach them. So it's, it's unacceptable, but having a car come up behind and scare the living shit out of me from behind in a situation, that is unacceptable when anybody's got... 
so I'd like to know uh, I would like to know first of all the lady that, that tried to hit me with the car was also the lady that filmed me I want ex I want to do an official information act request for that footage she was working at the time that's got yep. my information on it and I'm entitled to that footage yep well, there is information in regards to the official information act on the Ministry of Health website but Mike if you don't mind holding uh, I'm just going to put you on hold so I can message my manager yeah. I, I, I can give you my phone on behalf of yeah, yeah one moment Mike I need to log this call so uh, the uh, number plate was K out uh, sorry Kilo Lima Kilo one five one. Correct. Okay, I just wanted to get that correct. So you were filming on a public Which site. Which testing site? Yeah, well I wasn't at yeah. the testing site, I was just on a sidewalk outside it. Okay. So where was the testing site? 385 Dombuck Road at the Massey Community Hub. It's just in the car park area by the, by the um, yeah. public park there. Across, uh, ironically, across the road from the police station. Which is, wow. where, which is where, the after the security um, couldn't intimidate me to stop doing what I was doing, um, they went and walked over to the police station, came out, again, filmed it all, came out of the police station after about 30 seconds, I'm guessing the community police station was closed, and then went over and then rang the police. Unfortunately, I've been studying law for 10 years and I have recorded hundreds of police interactions and they are all well educated about my rights in public. <laughs> so the police didn't even show up. I waited because you know, I'm you just flabbergasted. You know, I'm just flabbergasted. Actually, you've just blown me. Sorry, I, I, I'm amazed at, at so the behaviour. Wow. So was I. Um, you know, the, the first nurse was very polite and present. Uh, she came up and asked me, you know, why am I filming? And just like most most people don't know, I don't generally answer questions. I'm not obliged to answer any questions. I just said I don't answer questions, and that was it. Um, she walked off, went and told another nurse, she walks over to the security guys, they come out, have a go at me on the sidewalk, then they threaten the police, go for a wander over to the cop shop, come back, and then just multiple staff members keep coming backwards and forwards, and after being told it was illegal by two of the staff that I can't record on the sidewalk, which is the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1996 and 14, uh, gives me the right uh, to do that. I know um, that. And then the staff, the, the nurse that attempted to hit me with her car comes out and films me on the sidewalk. So I, I, I don't get the mentality of telling me it's illegal and yet they come out and do the exact same thing. And I didn't have a mask on. Um, I got uh, called by one of the people that went through the testing centre called out to me. So I walked over and had a brief conversation with those two individuals. Then security started saying that I was not respecting the two metre rule from the car, which is again incorrect. My vehicle was filming from a distance and you could tell I was clearly two metres away from them. So they were just looking for any, any excuse to keep going on. What they should have done as security is protected the site and not approach people on a sidewalk. They're supposed to observe and report. So... I mean, they really picked the wrong guy to do this to. I have five cameras rolling. Okay. Uh, I would still suggest to email it to media, because the media team do need to know this. Sure. Media. Hang on, I'm going to find their email address. One moment. Thank you. Yeah, media at health. Dot G-O-V-T dot E-T. Yep, okay. Got that. G-O-V-T. I heartily apologise, Mark, uh, for, for the... For the compromissions behaviour. Mm. All of them. But yeah, um, uh, please send your...
your experience to the media team. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll be interested in uh, seeing it. Is, is there a supervisor that I can be put through to discuss it with, or will this log just go through? Um, I'll just see if Leah uh, is available one moment. Thank you. And I, and I will say, I'm presuming that that was a Ministry of Health's little silver car. There, there's a whole row of them that all the I don't know, sorry, Mike. Or well, I wouldn't have a clue. Uh, What's Leah's last name? Because it's probably leah.something at health.gov.nz. No, no, no. Uh, we don't give the last name, sorry, Mike. Sure. The media team is that media at health that would go to him anyway. Uh, I, d I didn't see the point in calling yesterday being at Sunday. I guess you guys wouldn't have been working. So. Uh, yes, we are. Oh, okay. So if, he, if he's sitting at his desk. Okay. Uh, right, I haven't got anything from Leah, I've actually gone to my manager and she suggested to contact the DHB. Oh, yes, good point. So that would be... Why the matter, District Health? I would have think under... Yeah, yeah. Uh, it might actually be the... Because oh, they're really under the public health, aren't they? My understanding. I've got this number, 09... Six two three four six double zero. That's the Auckland Regional Public Health Unit. Okay. And, and the other ones that deal with testing, vaccinations in the area. Okay. I uh, will give them a call and um, see what yeah. have to say and what can be done. Yeah, and you stay safe too, Mark. Sorry. All the best. Yeah, you too, and you have an awesome Christmas. Right, so clearly you see no freaking help there. Um, although the lady was sympathetic. Um, tried to cut me off and just give me the standard spiel, but I wasn't letting that go. She can talk over the top of me all she likes, so I can keep talking too. Um, then she directed me to media at health.govt.nz, um, an email address to send the footage to, which I will do. Um, then she said, well, you, the DHB's in control of all of them, right? So let's, um, let, let's get you to ring up the Auckland Regional Public Health Unit, who are supposed to be the ones in charge. Um, so I rang them. Thank you for calling Auckland Regional Public Health out to service. Our agents are currently on another call. Your call is important, so please hold and an agent will be with you shortly. Thank you. Good afternoon, Auckland Regional Public Health and to service. Marie speaking. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Marie. Sorry, hi, how are you today? Good, thank you. How can I help you? Um, I'm, I'm calling, uh, the, I've just been speaking to the Ministry of Health um, and they gave me your number to contact in regards to the um, testing station, the drive through testing station at 385 Dombuck Road. Do you guys have any involvement with that? I don't understand why Ministry of Health would give our number. Uh, Public Health Unit doesn't really look after any testing station. So who does? The COVID health line. So, so do you have a contact number I can contact in regards to the behaviour of the, the staff at that station? Basically, um, I had one of the staff members attempt to hit me with her car. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you can dial like the main one, the 0800 358, just give me a second. Sorry, 0800 358. It's 0800 358. Yep. 358. Mm-hmm. 5453. 5453. Yep, yeah, that's the, um, COVID helpline. COVID helpline. All right. Yep. Well, we'll give them a call and see. Hopefully we can get some something sorted. Thank, Thank you very you much. much. You have a good Christmas. See you later. Bye now. Okay. Again, no luck there either. Um, you've got to wonder, does, does, does one thing know what the other one's actually even doing? Is there any accountability at all? Got to wonder. So <laughs> I take their advice and I call 
the COVID health line. Here's that call. Kia ora and welcome to COVID health line. If this is a life-threatening emergency, please hang up now and dial 111. As a free and confidential service, we will not share your information with other agencies without letting you know. We have interpreters available. Let us know if you'd like one. We have key COVID information on healthy.org.nz, including exposure locations of interest and information about the New Zealand COVID vaccination program. Visit this site or text the word INFO, that is I-N-F-O, to 5353, and we will send the link to your mobile phone. If you have been at a location of interest or received a Bluetooth notification, please press 1 now to register with a COVID-19 advisor. For all other queries, stay on the line. If you are ringing about COVID test results, please note that Healthline does not have access to these. Please call your GP for this information. We'd love to hear what you think about this service and what you think we could do better. A couple of days after this call, we'll text you a link to an anonymous survey. If you do not wish to give feedback on the service, please let our advisor know. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling the COVID Healthline. You're speaking to Melissa. How can I help you? Hey, Melissa, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? A box of fluffy ducks as always. Oh, um, that's brilliant to know. Um, listen, I, I'm, you're the third person I've called now. I spoke to the Minister of Health. They referred me to the DHB, Auckland Regional Public Health Unit, and we have now referred me to you guys. Um, okay. This is in regards to um, the Massey Community Hub at 385 Great North, uh, sorry, 385 Dunbuck Road in Massey, the drive-through testing Okay. Uh, do you guys yeah. have, have any control over what happens at those places? No, we don't have any control over what happens at any of the testing sites. Because so, so um, I, I have quite a serious issue to discuss with them. Um, I was filming the site from the from the public sidewalk for about an hour and a half from 4 o'clock to 5.30 on Saturday. I was mm -hmm. approached five separate times by security nurses um, telling me it was illegal for me to do what I was doing. They then um, okay. walked to the police. Um, one of the staff members that came out and filmed me was the same staff member driving KLK 151, one of your Ministry of Health vehicles. Um, right. When she left work, she went up round a roundabout, came up from behind me, blasted her horn within inches of me um, with her car and swerved in to try and hit me. And it was oh, good captured, Lord. captured on at least three three cameras. Okay. Um, that would be a police matter. Have you contacted the police about it? I'm going to be contacting the police um, next to report, yeah. to report the vehicular, well, attempted vehicular assault. Um, yeah, yeah. The lady um, that attempted to hit me had also come out on the sidewalk and recorded me on her phone while she was at work. So I'd like to do an right. Information Act request for that footage. Okay, yep. Now, I don't honestly know. Um, oh, I wish I could. Mm. It's usually the DHBs that are in charge of all those testing services and stations and stuff. So, this is what the yeah. Said, and then she gave me the DHB's number, and I've rung them, and they said, "Well, we don't know why you rang, it, rang us for. We have nothing to do with it." They said, no, they do because it's run by the DHB. Yeah, I, I, I think they're just trying to pass the buck. I would agree with you. <laughs> yeah. So, so what do I do? Uh, because it, it's already okay. up on YouTube. Um, Ministry yeah. of Health has given me the media email address to send to concern through to. Um, like I said, yeah. I'm going to be calling the police, but I do also like yeah. to say, want to do an OIA for the footage. Um, while she's at yeah. work, she's recording on her phone that is now a public record. I think, I think the police can actually um, get that from her. They, they're the ones that can request that it because it's um, illegal. They can't um, film you without your permission. From a public sidewalk? That's incorrect. Uh, you can't film anyone from a public sidewalk. The, oh, can you? The, the point, well, it's in New Zealand Bill of Rights Act, Section 14. Um, but yeah. regardless of that, um, I have no issue with the filming. It's just the fact that she's recorded me while she's at work, which makes what she's recorded um, 
a, a public record or a record while she's at work. It would be illegal for her to delete that record. Um, okay. As she captured me, I need that footage. It's, yeah. So it's, okay. Yeah, so I'm entitled to it. It's a record of me. Yeah, and I was. My first point of call for myself, if that was me, would be the police because they've got more authority than the Ministry of Health mm. or the DHBs. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, so have you contacted the media? Uh, I haven't emailed them yet. No, I'm just going through the phone calls trying to find out yeah. who I can talk to, someone in a managerial position or someone that deals with some yeah. line in regards to the drive-through testing centres. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll just see if there's something that we can do. Yes, yes, definitely. Complaints. The manager, after an hour and a half of filming, there was a manager that came out and asked them all to leave me alone because I was being surrounded on the sidewalk by them. Um, I, th yeah. I, th I hadn't spoken to him before. I thanked him for asking them to leave me alone and walked them away. And he responded back by telling me um, that he he, well, he could smell the shit coming out of my mouth. And he oh, good lord. So that's not a very good response. Especially no, it's not at camera. all. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. Idiot. Definitely. Um, vaccination. I'll just see if there's a form that we have. I don't know, but I'll give it a go. Thank you. Vaccination locations. Ugh, no, not Australia. We want New Zealand. Report a breach. Would it be a breach? No, that's... Breach of an order. You're free, Monday night. It's not there. No, investigate claims. Very, very. No, that's the media. Hmm, I really don't know. I just, uh, I wish I could find the right thing for you. That's right. I can find a little bit of research at my end and see what I can find, but I, I think you're right. It doesn't yeah, it's I think, yeah. Because they're the ones funded and, and paying for, for it all, I'm guessing, so, well. Oh, absolutely, it, yeah, it, it is the DHB. I'd say our great grandchildren are going to be paying for it all, but... Um, mm. Yeah, mm. Um, I'll see what I can find at my end and, and look from the DHB sort of end. Yeah, but definitely um, your next call will be to the police just to um, talk to them. They may know more or may know how you go about it. Um, but yeah, just, just try them and... Oh, gosh, that's, that's absolutely ridiculous and I if, completely if, agree if you go, with you. If you go home, just look out for Mercy Community Hub. On YouTube. And you'll see okay. The I, okay. <laughs> I will do that. All right. Okay. You okay. So sorry about that. And good luck. Hopefully you get. Hopefully, hopefully you get your um, all your answers that you need. But yeah, no, it's absolutely disgusting. So, well done for going forward and, and fighting it. Okay, thank you very much. You have a okay. good Christmas, eh? No worries. You too. Thank you so much. Bye now. Bye. Unreal. Cut. It's getting ridiculous, isn't it? All right, so then I called the Whiter Matter DHB uh, at 367 triple zero, or quadruple zero. Welcome to Auckland District Health Board. If you know the extension, please dial it now. If your call relates to a patient inquiry, please say patient inquiry now. Otherwise, please just say the name of the staff member, ward or department you wish to speak with. Complaints department. Blood Bank, Auckland and Starship. Is that right? No. Okay. Let's try again. Please say the full name of the staff member, ward or department or press 1 to speak to an operator. Please wait.
wait while I transfer you to someone who can help. Kia ora. Thank you for calling Auckland District Health Board. Please hold and we will answer your call as soon as possible. This call may be recorded for training and quality purposes. Kia pai tora. Welcome to the contact centre. Speaking of how shall we help you? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, not too bad. Um, I'm trying to get hold of whoever is in charge of the West Auckland drive-through testing centres. Um, I have quite a serious complaint to make. Um, I don't have... So that's for the COVID test. I don't have access to those ones. I don't know if there's a separate one. Uh, the only ones I have would just be the COVID helpline that I have, and yep. the other one would be for the vaccine. Uh, if it's through, if it's through um, public health, I, um, ours would only cover Auckland District Health Board. Did you want to possibly try, since it's for West Auckland, did you want to possibly try maybe White Tackery Hospital or uh, North Shore if they might know or have access? Maybe um, I, I, I haven't tried Waitakere Hospital. I, I called the Ministry of Health first off, and they sent me through to the Auckland Regional Public Health Unit's phone number of the DHB. Um, okay. They didn't know, and they sent me through to the COVID Health Line, which is the 0800 number that's actually on the website about that testing spot. Um, yeah. And they didn't know. So, oh, okay. <laughs> hence why I'm calling um. to find out who can I... Basically, I was filming on the side of the road, um, the, the the testing centre, as you've seen on many news reports in the mainstream, um, yeah. and I was approached five separate times by the staff, um, told that I had shit coming out of my mouth, told that it was illegal for me to record on the public sidewalk, um, and a nurse that came out and then recorded me, which I want to do an OAA for that footage, then uh, after leaving at 5.30, decided to come up from behind me and swerve in and almost try and hit me with her car, blasting a horn. Oh. Um, the oh. silly thing was it was in front of three cameras when she chose to do that. Oh. So uh. it's up on YouTube. Um, my, yeah. my next calls are going to be to the police to report her. Um, yeah. But I need to talk to someone at the DHB because being sure. told, especially from, from the manager, that actually come and got them after an hour and a half and told them to leave me alone was the one that told me he could smell shit coming out of my mouth. Which wasn't exactly professional. Sorry. Uh, Again, not, not your fault. It's, yeah. it's their behaviour and that's basically why I'm calling. That needs to be corrected. The, the police can deal with the, with the crazy woman behind the steering wheel. But um, the behaviour of the staff, the security, all approaching me on a public sidewalk where they have no jurisdiction, trying to tell me I can't do what I'm legally allowed to do. Yeah. Is there anything with, anything with COVID I don't have access to myself personally? Um, the only other one I could, but I think you said you've already spoken with them, is through public health communicable disease. I can transfer you through there, but if that's who you spoke with... I don't know if they'd be able to help, yeah. and I don't know if there's a separate, um, with being in a different DHB, I don't know if that's separate. Well, I mean, you know, you know they're in Messy, so if you could put me through to perhaps Wider Meadow District Health Board or, or um, okay. you know, sure. the one on Lincoln Road there, and perhaps they might know. Okay, all right. We'll see if, they, see if they might have, yeah. Um, you have a good Christmas. You as well. Yeah. Bye bye. Waitamata District Health Board, please hold and we will answer your call as soon as possible. This call may be recorded for training and quality purposes. Kia pai tora. Minister of Health, you're speaking with Anna. Hi Anna, how are you? Okay, how can I help you? Um, I've, I've been passed from one person to another and so now I'm trying you. Um, it's in regards to the uh, COVID-19 drive-through testing station that's at the Massey Community Hub on 385 Dombuck Road in Massey. Um, okay. Do, do you guys have anything to do with the operations of, of that place? Each vaccination centre is overseen by the local DHB at Thunder. Um, 
Have you done a breach report then? Um, what, what is the breach report for? Because it's, it's in regards to me, I, I never actually went onto the site. I was walking along gathering some content for a story I'm working on along the sidewalk recording. I was approached five separate times by staff members there, two of them telling me it was illegal to record on a public sidewalk. Um, and ending up with the third person coming out and recording me and then at about 5.30 when she left work she decided to go around the roundabout, come up from behind me, blast her horn and literally was inches away from hitting me with her car. Okay. So I need to make a complaint in regards to the behaviour. I need to make an official information act request for her footage that she took of me while she was at work. Um, and I want something done with, the, I mean, the manager that came out and decided to tell security and nurses and everyone else to leave me alone after an hour and a half. I, I thanked him and he turned around and told, and I hadn't spoken to him beforehand, turned around and told me, I can smell the shit coming out of your mouth. So the entire interaction was recorded on five separate cameras and I'm absolutely disgusted and appalled with the attempted vehicular assault that the lady tried doing in the Ministry of Health vehicle. I have the rego plate number, um, so something needs to be sorted. I'm, I will be calling the police, obviously, that's my next call, but I'm trying to find out at, from the Ministry of Health or who controls that drive-through testing centre and who I can make a complaint to. I've contacted the Ministry of Health. Yeah. They passed me on to the Auckland Regional yeah. Public Health Unit, DHB, who then passed me on to the COVID Health Line, who then passed me on to Waitemata, DHB. Um, and now I'm up to you. <laughs> so, what do I do? I, yeah, Every, everything's done online through breach reporting, so you can either go direct through our website or through the police website there, and any complaints can be investigated. Okay, well, it's already up on YouTube. The police are welcome to watch the clip. Um, how would I get through to that breach? Do you have an address or something I can go to to, to get to that? If, if you just put um, breach, uh, co um, probably search COVID-19 breach report. COVID-19 breach report. Um, and then the first option that will pop up will be the NZ Police website. That's probably the most direct way to do it. And then third one it down, report okay. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. I will uh, look into that and do that as well. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, pop that through there. Cool. Okay. You have a lovely day. You too. Have a good Christmas. You too. Take care. You too.